Hello ladies and gentlemen, this is Ghost, and uh, I'm not going to explain why we're not on the Silly Time server in the secret room I have for introductions and everything, but because um, that's going to be explained in the next video, which I've already recorded and will be editing soon. Just know uh, a lot of things are happening, and I hope you guys are going to enjoy this one. This is going back into um, Dialtown once more, and I hope... And it's really funny, it's really sad, I was a bit disappointed with my decisions, but I got a pretty cool guy in the end. Let's just, uh, we'll just, just like, subscribe, and, uh, tell your friends and family. Maybe, maybe not your cousin, not, maybe not your Aunt Karen, because she might, uh, she might not like what I said about Karen's. Although this Karen was really sweet, so yeah. Anyways, I hope you guys do enjoy, I'm gonna stop wasting your time, and here's the video. Editor, take it away. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and you may notice there is no obnoxious fan in the background. That's because I am at my mom's at my mom's house now. I'm moved back down south, as a lot of you are aware, and shit's been real. But um, just want to take this big opening line to say thank you guys to all of you supporting me. Who have, were all like, okay, we understand that there will be some changes, such as recording's gonna be a bit smaller. Recording's may be not as often as I'd like because due to the internet being not very well and where I am right now. But, um, I promised to do Dim Dial Town again because I left it off with us finding Karen. Karen, the lovable Karen. So, uh, let me just, now that I've thanked you, hi, I'm Glorious Warriors, also known as Ghost, or Charles, as, uh, Vex calls me. Welcome to Dialtown. Now, I'm pretty sure at the beginning I'll have my normal interjection and everything about views and likes and all that jazz. So, not to waste your time, let's get right in. Oh. Well, sh oh no, wait, what? Hold up a second. <laughs> All right, after a small little miscalculation, so I have two versions of the Dialtown demo. Apparently the one I had clicked, Jesus, why is the music, one second, oh, the music's really loud. I guess we're just stuck there, but okay. But, um, I found it. I think it's 17 minutes, 33 minutes. This is the one we want. Let's just jump right in. Why not? <laughs> My throat's gonna be fucked. Also, no one is home. Karen, how are you? It's good to see you. Oh, uh, yeah. Nathan Hand over. Hanover Synth Symphonic Orchestra, right? I think that was the guy who made all the music. You're green! <laughs> oh god, I forgot how, fu how awful this game is. Well, I'm sure we could be green together if you catch my griff. My drift. Swinky face. <laughs> I do not catch your drift. No. Please kindly explain what literally any of that means. Well, you see, when when people love each other, they make joint bank accounts. Okay, fair game. You've got me. I don't know what I'm talking about. I just figured that what I said passes some sort of euphemism. It do it, it does. Cause it sounds 
seems like what kind of like one. <laughs> Lizard person. Wondrous. Yes. Fucking. <laughs> Even sounds like a character. Now, were you hoping to make a transaction, sir, or. A transaction from that titty bank you got there? Are you taken tonight by any chance? Taken by what exactly? Oh god, this isn't like your normal Karen. Your normal Karen would have been screaming at me by now. This is actually a nice lady. No, I meant, are you free tonight? Am I? What is this? What are you asking? Can I help you? Oh my fucking god. Wow, Karen, you are really stupid. Oh god, please take me to the fun fair, my paper churning mistress! Firstly, never call me again. <laughs> Thanks. Secondly, what? <laughs> Do you not understand? I wanted to ask, I wanted to ask you out on a date. <laughs> You're asking me out on a date. Why, yes, because I want to, and I need you to leech off me. Look, don't take this the wrong way, sir, but I'm not into phones. I'm a typewriter kind of girl, kind of gal. Sometimes you just gotta tell people you're okay, but you're not. So, unless you can go change your head on the fly, can do! I just need a hacksaw, super glue, some paper. <laughs> this sounds like in 10 goddamn minutes, Karen. <laughs> yeah, no. <laughs> Sorry, it's a pass for me. Fuck! No! Route lost! Ah! <laughs> Sir, please calm down. Ah, fuck my heart! You fucking killed me, Karen! Fuck, fuck, you went, you've killed me! <laughs> oh shit, my headphones. Sir, my job is to deal with money to people going through mid -like crises, crises so they can buy fast cars and crash them into brick walls. I wish I had a face cam just so you could see like the look of like, oh fuck, it's... Time for a fucked up joke just because it come, just, it presented itself. What, what does the Dale Earhart Sr. and Pink Floyd have in common? The last hit was the wall. Not to act as a therapist for violently unstable customers. I'm just a Reaper's middle aid middle manager. Oh fuck's sake. I like how for once she's like, please stop. As such, I'm afraid you'll have to leave and find someone else to inconvenience at their place of work. Fine! I'll go find my own. Go fuck yourself, fuck! Ah! Fuck! Security! Oh fuck! Uh, we got another screamer! Step away from the sirens while howling like a wounded coyote. Leave the area. Where would you like to go? Let's go to the local cinema, cinema and go. Is it Oliver? I think I can pester. Hey, what would you like to do now? Summon an employee. Well, I'm sad about Karen. Oh, I didn't see what else. Hang on, just a jiffy. Oh, this is good. Oh, this music. Green skin, five, no, six nipples. Your head, made from six gear flesh, perhaps skiffly combination of burlap and leathers? I do, can I? 
Can I feel your head, dude? No, what the hell? Don't be a creep, man! No way. Okay, but we're here until I'm delicate. <laughs> Don't worry, honey. I can be as smooth as an infant's ball sack. Wait, what? <laughs> All right. Oh God. Bitch, you is fine. Sick. What the hell is that? Hey, look, I know this is kind of sun, but you do know that it's Valentine's Day today, right? Oh, fuck yeah! I'm well aware, yes. I'm well aware, yes. Well, I was just wondering. Would you like to perhaps, you know, go on a date with me tonight? Oh, fuck yeah, Oliver. Wait, you're asking. Wait, you're asking me out. Meow. Well, duh. I'm I'm surprised. I did not, did not see this eventuality coming. This isn't an awfully common event, you see. Give me one reason I wouldn't want to ask you out. I've got about six reasons, and they're all my nipples. They're all nipples. <laughs> I like how I went for the joke, but it was actually there. And they're green! I also have a problem with sucking in air. I asked you for a reason. I wouldn't ask you out. Not for six perks for doing so. You like my nipples? <laughs> yeah, they're freaky. Oliver is officially my favorite guy just because of how fucking awesome he is. No, you can't beat Randy. Randy is baby. Groovy even. Oh god, he's your... So, how about it, broski? Yes! Take me now! Stellar! Rock on, freaky bro! Now, I'm not dead set on this happening in any particular... Fun fair! Oh man, you will go to fun fair with me? Hell yeah, broski! Gnarly! I've been there in forever, but because I pissed on all the nachos. I need to state this for legal reasons, I'm sure. This might be less of a purely romantic engagement. And more of a me laying my eggs at the fun fair kind of arrangement. Wait, you're... Are you... An egg layer? I certainly hope I am. I'm not emotionally ready to give birth to pump. <laughs> Dude! <laughs> oh god, I'm gonna fuck my throat with these two boys. I mean... I love those puppies as much as the next fella, but whoa! I can't believe I. Okay, look, I'll offer you a deal. I'm kind of working on a movie right now. <laughs> See, this place ain't doing so groovy right now, on account of a few disturbing rumors about the building. Like what? But, I'm hoping that produce a film here in Dialtown and then host some sort of gnarly premiere and blow the lid off of how gnarly this place truly is. I don't even know what I just read. And, you know, saves business, most importantly. Having footage of a genuine egg laying, one that takes place right here in town, no less. Why? Broski, I could see this movie doing really well. And then I gotta hit those waves, bruh. You want me to lay eggs? I'm camera. Go get paid. Yeah, all right. Maybe it does sound a lot like a lot. But you'd be doing us a major solid. You'd be doing me a major solid. Plus, those eggs had to be laid anyway, right? God damn, this guy's right. 
This is like symbiosis and junk. It is a symbiotic relationship. I need to lay eggs and I want to do it in the fun fair. You need to record me laying eggs. So yeah, it's a beneficial relationship. I don't see why I wouldn't accept this. So I'd be a star? In the same way your average porn star or local raving lunatic con an internet viral video would be, yeah! Oh, <laughs> wait, I just realized it said porn star. You need someone to take you and I need a performer. Beneficial relationships, hell yeah! You can kill, con to kill two condors with one trident. <laughs> this sounds hot. <laughs> oh, no, wait. This sounds hot! I'm hitting the fan self. Fuck yeah! Gnarly, broski! Groovtacular, truly radical. Don't know why this voice fucks up my throat. Alright, so the th thing is, I've got a little more time left on the clock before my shift officially ends. How long, Oliver? Precisely four minutes. Yeah! <gasps> Yes! But how will I occupy myself for four whole minutes? I know a few ways. It's called watching YouTube. Well, you can always take a quick look around, see what the cinema has to offer. We run a tight ship here, and it's all tied and tied for being stuck together by the mystery that he says that this place seems to be too secret. This is an extraordinarily sticky premises, yes. Yes! I could tell. It feels like I'm walking in the underwater with this sticky carpet. And it's about as easy to breathe underwater, too. Oh. My. Do you have gills? Well, I'm very hard to drown. But last I checked, nah. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Okay. Get no to place. I'll meet you outside in four minutes. Right on, daddy -o. We'll see you then. Oh uh -huh, man. I'm digging this crazy sling. Broski! Catch you on the tan, dog man. Pardon? <laughs> dog man? Ha! I see what you did there, doggo. I don't care for this place very much. I don't care for this place very much. Why is that dear narrator? Generic remake number 17. You liked the story before, maybe you'll like it even better with CG. I? Maybe? Is that supposed- that's- that's- that's phone Elvis, oh god. My tails are on the ha- Ew. Okay, so like, this place is obviously incredibly haunted. Nah! Yes! It is extraordinarily haunted. Nah, man, what makes you think that? I can be myself now. I'm not in front of Oliver. Look. The walls are bleeding. Okay, we don't know for a fact that it's blood. It could be ketchup for all we know. Do you consider the wall seeping ketchup from its pores honestly less abnormal? Okay, fair. But it could be some kind of jam or nectar, too. None of those are normal substances for a movie theater wall to secrete. Well, whatever it is, there's only one way to find out. Oh, please don't. I'm, be I'm begging you. Ugh. Don't lick that. Worry not, it could be jam. <laughs> Wall jam is not good jam. I've made my mind up. Okay, it is blood. But it's not my blood, so I care very little. In fact, I'm relieved. <laughs> I'd be relieved too. 
It's blood, though. Yeah, but it's not mine, so, uh... Why should I care if it hasn't been stolen from my body? Perhaps I should have known. It's the wrong color, anyway. What color's my blood? You really don't get this, do you? What? I don't get is why I shouldn't just go somewhere else. You know? To sh you know! To shut you up. Fine, fine. Besides, I'm sure there's hardly anything here more unsettling than literal blood. Okay, what the fuck? Children! Two of them! Uh, um, they're just staring at right at you. Yeah, kids do that. I don't like their energy. They're evil, glorious warriors. Thank you, I could not tell that. Evil! You want to attempt communication? I don't speak Latin, nor crayon. Wait, do kids speak Spanish? These particular ones might just speak the same tongue as you and me. Whoa, no way! Say something to them. Hey, children, I... How would you like to clean my tent? Why is this always your go-to? Come play with us. Okay, fuck this. Let's go. No, no, let's hear them out. What game do you want to play, dear children? I don't know. A word search, maybe? Sorry, no can do. I'm kind of illiterate. Feel free to complete it on your own, though. Okay, we understand thoroughly. Have a nice day. Huh! I had no idea kids nowadays would be... could... Gosh, you can blur like that. <laughs> oh, that hit, that struck a nerve. Cause I use Gaussian blur on my uh, thumbnails most of the time. Can we please just leave this accursed place? Fine, fine, I reckon a good four minutes has passed anyhow. I think it actually has, I think realistically four minutes has passed. Oh, fuck, you're taller than I expected. Hey, up, pal. Hey, up, pal. What can I you are gone a good six minutes. Figured you might have just as gaddled, so to speak. I can't even do his voice anymore, my throat's so fucked. So, how'd you find the place? Stick here in my tent. Didn't know that was possible. What are you, Boris? You've ever been to Paternal Brown? Whoa! So the two hand cinema chicken signs are legit. Fuck. Are legit. Red! Oh, there we go. I got fucked my throat. Broski! Wait! Is there a two-headed chicken? Just roaming your place of work? According to three sources, one of which is you. Yes! I can never seem to spot the damn thing with how quickly it moves. But man, it sure does a groovy job of cleaning the floors and discarded floor cord after hours. Guess that also explained what it's been half eating our mice. Oh fuck. I can confirm a chicken will do that. You guys have mice too? I might have to live there. Well, no whole ones anymore, thanks to the chicken, evidently. But broski, it's the scariest shit I've ever seen. Anyway, I was wondering if you wanted to get going. The way I figured it, the sooner we get this footage done, the more time we'll have to enjoy ourselves. You want to spend time with me after the lane? Of course, man. Broski. I love fun fairs, man. I can't do his voice for long. Even with our particular one's high mortality rate? No, that's me. Even with our particular one's high mortality rate. Hey, where else could you get launched from a spinning crab arm at half the speed required to break the sound barrier? I just heard a fucking rooster crow behind me outside. 
I reckon the, those Viking chaps had it right, giving you an awesome afterlife if you die in a particularly gnarly way. You're talking about Valhalla because that requires you to die in a heroic manner with a weapon in hand, and they're very loose on their term of weapon because somebody got in with a uh, got in with a fucking fire extinguisher. That that's from um, Magnus Chase series. If you don't get that joke, that's because you haven't read it. It's a fucking fantastic series. Go read it, bitch. Fun fair accents have to be an alternate way to get to phone hall. He was talking about Valhalla. Valhalla does not allow people in. Anyway, let's just get going. We can't continue chatting on the way there. <laughs>